Hey fellow Reading Warriors and welcome back to another video and welcome to a new year. Um, so I have decided that to start off this year I am going to talk a little bit about some of my 2021 reading goals. So this video is going to be a little more chill, kind of a little more sit down and let's talk about this upcoming year. and just reading in general, not really very many specific books. I may mention a few, but not enough to give summaries or pull them off of my shelf or anything like that. So this is also coming off of having an entire year where every month I planned out pretty much every book I was gonna read. I had a little bit of flexibility, like I knew this month I was gonna read this genre and I had these books that were of this genre. If I had time, I was going to read more or if I wasn't feeling it, I could switch them out. But for the most part, it was incredibly scheduled. And while I am a very scheduled person and I love having schedule and being organized, that's not something I want to continue in the future with my reading. It was great. I'm really proud of myself for reading a different genre every month for the past year. But this year is going to be a little more what I normally do in terms of reading. So for example, that's going to include setting a very loose TBR maybe at the beginning of the month or kind of at the beginning of a season even depending on how school is if school ends up being super busy for me in the fall it might just be a fall TBR rather than specifically August September October um, but also because I am switching to an English major surprise surprise shocker who, who would have thought that another booktuber was gonna be an English major initially I was an Arabic major and while I still love the language I still love Arabic um, I have made a different career choice and thus rendering me to change my major. So I will also be talking a little bit more about books that I will read per my curriculum, but I'm still hoping that this channel will mostly remain in my free enjoyment reading rather than school required reading because I'll get plenty of talking about that in class and that's also not what you guys are necessarily here to see. If you do want to see videos like that, I'd be more than willing to do them. Uh, all you have to do is comment down below, let me know, or send me an email, or contact me over some sort of social media that I have in the description every video, so uh, just keep that in mind. But yeah, so it is going to be a lot looser of a TBR. I am very much a mood reader. I read whatever I feel like, or whatever I recently got, or whatever... You know, I'm, I'm very much a mood reader, so I will not be near as scheduled. I'll still try to be a little bit, just to make sure that I actually do read all the books on my shelf, but I'm not making as many promises as I did last year. In terms of Goodreads goals, I do enjoy setting them. This past year I set it at 50, and I definitely, I overcame that by quite a bit. However, not enough to quite put it at 100, although my goal goal is to have my Goodreads goal be 100 books and to complete it. However, like I said, just with school, COVID, working multiple jobs, I, I don't want to pressure myself so that it's more about reading a number of books rather than the actual books that I am reading in the content. So again, my Goodreads goal will be 50 books. However, I very much expect to surpass that hopefully more than I did this past year because I went through quite a few reading slumps last year due to my over-scheduled, over-organized year. Um, so hopefully I won't go into as many slumps so that I can like way read way more than 50 books, but I'm also just trying to keep the pressure on myself very light. So I'm not setting too many things in stone. The whole point of last year was to branch out and read new genres and try new things, and I found out slash I kind of knew it but I never acted on it that I love historical fiction. I do. I I like realistic historical fiction but I also like fantasy historical fiction. You know anything that is fiction and is not taken modern times I actually quite enjoy. So one goal I am gonna set for the entire year is to just flat out read more historical fiction and I recently started buying some more historical fiction so that I can do that. For example I have The Prisoner's Wife or I have My Calamity Jane, and I have a couple other historical fiction that I want to read that are on my shelf that I maybe started. Um, so I'm going to be reading more historical fiction, hopefully, as well as continuing to read fantasy, as I love fantasy. I've always known that. I've always been a huge fantasy reader. That's not going to change. But I am hoping to add on some historical fiction. I want, I have a hard time with contemporary because there are certain contemporary books that I like and certain ones that I don't, like 
at all. <laughs> so I am still open to reading contemporary if you guys have any good suggestions for me, um, but I cannot promise that that would be a prominent genre in this channel or in my reading life considering this channel is my reading life, so. So this channel is gonna continue to be more of a historical fiction slash fantasy channel, but I am always open to whatever books that you guys find interesting and want me to read. So even if you have a book that you love and wanna talk about, if it's not one of those genres, still feel free to put it down and I may read it anyway. And then of course, you know, there's Halloween when I'm gonna be reading all kinds of horror and thriller because I, I will be buying them so far ahead of time that no matter what happens with sending, it will come. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look at one of the videos. Here's the siren. Look at one of the videos that I released during that time, specifically my Halloween vlog, and you'll understand why I'm so frustrated with ordering books online. But yeah, so I want to read more historical fiction, but I really also want to read a lot of fantasy that I have missed out on this past year. So many wonderful fantasy books and series have been released in the past year, and I just did not let myself read them because of my stupid schedule. Um, and so I will also be playing quite a bit of catch up of some of those books that I was like, oh, I really want to read them, but I can't because, you know, this month is mysteries or this month is, um, you know, whatever. And so I will also be catching up on a lot of those. So if you see me reading older books in future videos, sorry, but that's what it's going to be. I am also hoping to participate in readathons again. So I love readathons. I think they are so creative. They are so fun. They are so interesting to participate in and talk with other people about. And I love vlogging for a lot of them. Um, and so I'm kind of doing a loose, like, I know this readathon is coming up this year and I want to make sure I do it, but I also want to plan a little further ahead than what I had this past year. Um, so I know that there's probably going to be if the newts happen, if G does the newts again, I want to participate in those. If she doesn't, I might want to find some materials from newts last year and do it because I understand if she doesn't do to JK Rowling is a horrible human being, but I still want to go through the challenge and the fun of that. Um, I will also be doing the reading rush. I'm going to do that every year. That was like, again, like the third or fourth video I ever post. I think like, the second or third video I ever posted was a reading rush announcement video, like that I was going to do it, not that I'm part of the reading rush. <laughs> but yeah, so I want to do that readathon. If the Olympic Games readathon happens again this year, I want to do that. And the hashtag make your myth taker was one that I watched the announcement video for, thought, oh, I'm going to do this and then didn't do it at all. Um, and so those are some readathons. I definitely throughout the year, as more readathons pop up, I want to do them. Um, so I want to be a little more prepared and open to just kind of doing a readathon on a whim rather than like last year being like, oh no, I can't do this readathon because it's hard to find books in the genre I'm supposed to be reading for it. Um, so I definitely want to participate in more readathons, which also leads me into more video related content. I want to be doing more vlogs because vlogs are fun and vlogs kind of allow me to read a book or two and talk about them more in depth. I feel like with uh, my recent read videos or wrap up videos, um, I have a bit of a time limit just with uh, the old technology that I'm using, AKA I use my phone for videos, which also is how I take like personal pictures and videos of other things like going to the zoo or something. And so I don't always have the most amount of storage on my phone. And then I also use my one and only laptop for editing and uploading which is the same laptop that I use for school, and so I also don't have a lot of storage on that device either. So I feel like my wrap-ups and my recent reads always have to be super rushed, and I have to get through it, get to the point of things, so that I can make sure that I can actually upload the video. But if I do more vlogs, I think I'll be more open to talking about the book for longer, or do a more in-depth review, especially if I like stop after being like, a third of the way through or halfway through or almost done and uh, obviously all of my reviews will not have spoilers in them I and if they do have a spoiler I will most likely put it either in the title or as you watch the video I like to put up a screen and say spoiler coming or something like that so that you don't get spoiled because that is one of the worst things in the world um, so most of my reviews will be spoiler free, but if they are not, I will make it very obvious <laughs> that it's not, um, because I would love to talk about the books, and I feel like a better way to do that would be through vlogs, 
Plus, vlogs are fun. Vlogs are very interesting, I think. But yeah, and then also in terms of video content, I want to make more creative videos. I had some ideas for some creative videos I was gonna do that aren't like, that are kind of creative, aren't super popular, but at the same time not like 100% original, you know? Um, but again, with storage on my phone, storage on my computer, and also figuring out an uploading schedule, um, I had to very much tailor to what my school schedule was each semester and what my work schedule was over the summer in order for me to figure out when it's even possible to record and upload a video. Um, but now it's a little more set in stone. I will be uploading every Thursdays and I have been for quite a while and that is going to continue. But I want to be doing some more creative, more interesting content and so I'm going to kind of challenge myself but then also use some of the ideas that I had last year in terms of making more creative content so I don't feel that I'm getting stuck in a repetitive pattern of TBR, vlog, recent reads slash wrap up, move on. Um, I wanna make sure I'm uploading like more interesting and creative videos than that. So if you have any ideas, again, like if you have ideas on anything, just comment them down below and I will love to read through them and work with them. Sorry, I'm like losing my voice a little bit. Uh, but yeah, so th those are kind of what I'm thinking of for this upcoming year. I'm going to be a little more looser, a little more happier with what I am reading, and I want to be a little more, have a little more fun with these videos. Not that making these videos isn't fun. No, I'm having so much fun sitting here and talking about books, but I do want to do some more creative content, so... I think those are kind of all my reading goals for this upcoming year. Thanks for sitting down and having a little chat with me. Let me know what kind of goals you have, whether it's certain books you want to read, certain genres you want to read, certain things you want to do, um, certain books you want to buy, you know, just kind of whatever. I would love to hear from you down below. Uh, like I said earlier, I upload on Thursday, so hit the subscribe and then hit the bell so that you can get notified when on Thursdays I upload. And feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, if you enjoyed it, or if you want to have more just casual sit-down talks like this, rather than super prepared, like, this book of this, and then this book of that. So, yeah. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful year so far. Hopefully it's a lot better than how last year started out. And so with that, I'm going to wish you guys all the way until my next video next week, a happy reading.